Welcome to Invention X, where powder, fire, and water reshaped the human world. Long before cement and concrete, humans discovered a material that could bind, protect, decorate, and heal. Plaster. Plaster comes from gypsum, a soft mineral found across the earth, from fine alabaster to giant crystal blades called selenite. When gypsum is heated, crushed, and mixed with water, it transforms into one of humanity's earliest engineered materials. As early as 7,000 years ago, plaster was already being used in the Middle East. In ancient Egypt, gypsum was burned in open fires, ground into powder, and mixed with water to create plaster mortar, binding the massive stones of pyramids and coating palace walls with smooth white surfaces. In Jericho, plaster took on a powerful symbolic role. Human skulls were carefully coated and painted with plaster to recreate lifelike faces, one of the earliest known ritual arts. The Romans perfected plaster work and spread it across Europe, using it for walls, ceilings, and decoration. Later, a vast gypsum deposit near Montmartre in Paris gave rise to the name Plaster of Paris. So valuable was this material that the French king ordered Parisian wooden houses to be coated in plaster to slow the spread of fire. Plaster shaped not only buildings, but art and medicine. The technique of fresco painting relies on wet plaster. Stucco turned plaster into ornament. And by the 19th century, doctors used plaster to support broken bones. From temples to paintings, from cities to casted limbs, plaster quietly held civilization together. This is invention number 33, plaster. Welcome again to Invention X.